Next, Next up, up is Lifestir. Can y'all hear me? Yes. Okay. I'm Bailey Kaufman, and today I will be presenting to you all Lifestir. 98 seconds. Every 98 seconds, someone is sexually assaulted by the use of a date rape drug. One out of six women and one out of 10 men are sexually assaulted in the, the lifetime. After reading these statistics, I knew it was time for a change, and that's why I created Lifestir. Lifestir is a stir to detect date rape drugs, it detects GHB and ketamine. The way it does this is it has chemicals infused to each end of the stir and will change colors from its original stir color black to white to alert the user that their drink has been drugged. My market will be bars and restaurants in the Cookville and Upper Cumberland area in year one. Year two, I'd like to expand to all of Tennessee. And year three, I'd like to expand to the Southern region and to individual consumers. And how will I be doing this? So I'm going to have a three-step marketing strategy. Um, first, I will establish my brand and my brand is Lifestar. And it's a product that is able to reduce statistics of sexual assaults and give users a sense of control so they can go to restaurants and bars and feel safe and not have to look over their shoulder and fear that somebody could slip a drug in a drink. Um, so I'm gonna be using white, black, and blue to represent safety, control, and life. Then I will introduce my product to my sellers and or to my buyers with print advertisement, networking, and media. So I want to build strong relationships with the bars and restaurants because it is going to be a newer product um, that will be on the market. Even though we do have some competitors, um, we have things that Lifestar has to offer, um, as in it's a stir and not a straw, so it's smaller and it's able to change colors while staying in the drink rather than having to take it out of the drink to test if there's a drug in your drink. And then uh, my third way of marketing is I will hopefully have influencers who are advocating for the reduction of sexual assault statistics. Um, and I want to give back to my community with the profit that I do make. Um, April is Prevent Sexual Assault month and I will be giving 20% of my proceeds to the National Prevention of Sexual Assault Association. Um, it'll cost me $9.30 to produce a batch of 1,000 stirs, and my 1,000 stirs, I'll be selling that in bulk. In year three, I want to give to individual consumers and have them be able to buy my product, and it will be $8 for 250 stirs. I believe that a chime for a change is now, um, and that's why I've been researching this product for the last three years, and I want to reduce the statistics of sexual assault. Um, my slogan is Stir, Sip, Survive. So as always, Stir, Sip, Survive. Thank you. Leanna, we'll start with you for questions. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you, Bailey. Um, one thing that popped in mind as I was reading, a great idea, by the way, but one of the things that uh, concerned me just a little bit was the fact that, and I know you've been working on this for a while, um, a lot of times uh, in these particular instances, press, uh, specific, specifically with this kind of an issue, uh, businesses are not always interested in taking what we would consider responsibility for things of this nature because now we're getting into legalities. Um, have you done any vetting with businesses research to try to determine whether or not they're really interested in supporting a product? I realize that um, socially, this is a great opportunity, but for, for a business person, this may not be a step they're willing to take. I just wondered if you had talked with anyone about that. Okay, so I actually have done um, some research with the bars and restaurants here in Cookville, and I got a lot of positive feedback. Um, I think Lifestar could be a win-win for both um, Lifestar and the bars and the restaurants because I know it could, like you said, it could be a liability, but I have full confidence that the product will work, and I do, I will, I, um, I project to be able to test um, a percentage of all the batches that are produced. Um, I talked to an undercover narcotic and he said that it needs to be portrayed at the front of bars and restaurants um, because that is going to reduce crime rate. If the predator comes in and they see that, you know, we proudly serve Lifestar and there's a product in here that is going to 
detect something and detect the crime that they were going in there to do, um, it's going to turn away the predators. And it could eventually and hopefully bring bars and restaurants more um, business. I know that I would rather feel safe in a restaurant and a bar than not. But I did get positive feedback. Thank Great. you. Great. Thanks. Um, so your competitors, you mentioned they're using straws, which of course are already included in the drinks. Do you think there's going to be any pushback from the consumer point of view that now there's uh, extra waste created because it's a straw and a stir stick or extra work for the bartenders? How, how do you plan to kind of combat that? So the material that will be used, it's going to be a disposable paper. Um, and it is in, in a stir form, so you can't drink out of it, but it will be um, disposable, so it reduces the waste. Um, but my vision is to have life stir to be able to be in every single drink that is given out. Um, going off the competitor standpoint, um, it's a straw and it's going to be big and you have to literally take the straw out of the drink, then place whatever the drink is onto the detection. And, you know, when you are sipping on your drink, you're not going to think about doing that every single time you take a sip. Great, thanks. Thank you. Hi, Bailey. So my question, um, you mentioned that one of the features that made you different from the other brands is that you don't have to take it out of your drink. Does it change colors all the way to the top or would you still have to have, like you would still, it would still be concealed inside your glass, I guess. So it, yes, it would be concealed inside your glass, but it will be able to um, change colors all the way through. Um, two questions. One to kind of piggyback off what Kelly said, now that you said that, does the, well, I mean, what do you do with a dark, I mean, a rum and Coke or a Jack and Coke is, is obviously a dark drink. So how are you able to determine the color of the stir while it's still in the drink at that point? Um, so the stir, uh, if you, it's just out, you know, if the cup is around the stir, um, it's going to change from black to white. So you would be able to see it. It's oh, going to be the, outside. Oh, it does go like, the whole, it's oh, gonna I'm be sorry. Safe. I thought you said it had to stay in the, in the drink. I apologize. I mean, the, no, no, you're good. The stir will stay just, you know, inside the cup, but you'll be able to see the stir sticking out of the drink. Understood. Um, and then what is your cost in comparison to traditional stirs and straws? Because I, I think if I did the math right, I may be wrong, but you're, you're at nine cents, right? Um, it's going to be point, if I'm producing in bulk, it's going to be 0 0.03 to produce each, it, each one. Okay. Um, and normal stir. Sorry, Bailey, I lost you. I can't hear you. First. We're adding time, Bailey, until you can come back. We're working on contacting Bailey right now. Uh, please note that we have paused her time and we will resume once she comes back on. Hey. Am I back on? It yeah, said that uh, the video. Yeah, Bailey, you are ready to go and you're live. Okay. Can you all hear me? I don't know what happened. 
Yes, proceed with your question or answer. Can you ask the question again? Yeah, it was just the cost in comparison to traditional straws and stirs. Right, so traditional straws and stirs do sell for 0 0.01 cents a stir. Um, so it's not going to be a huge cost difference. Um, wools in bulk and very cost efficient or co uncost efficient for me. Are you still there, Bailey? I am. I, I think I just cut out for a minute. <laughs> David, was that all you had? Yes. Okay, thank you. Um, so I just wanted to clarify in your pitch video, you had mentioned something about maybe having the restaurants almost sell for you or directly to the client. Was that just to help raise awareness or are you planning to have them then pass that cost on to the client? Time. 